All right, so since I shot the unboxing video of this device right here, the Pixel 3 XL, man, there has been so much talk about this notch up on the top. Notch City, I mean, it's been referred to, I've seen memes about this notch. It's a meme-worthy notch. Now, <laughs> I think a lot of people were hoping I would talk a little bit more about it in the original video, so here we are. We're gonna have a dedicated video talking about this particular notch. It is huge. It is a big notch, and it's not to many people's taste. In fact, it seems to have stolen the show, especially in conjunction with the chin of the phone. The chin and the notch together creating uh, this ensemble. People have been so displeased with this particular layout that they're saying they wanna pick up the regular Pixel 3 instead of the XL. Now, I am not gonna make a case to defend that thing. I am on record many times saying I am not a fan of notches. Every single time, that I've had the opportunity to disable a notch on any phone, I disable it, I promise you. You can go back and watch old videos, I have been doing that. Now, certain manufacturers don't allow you to do that, and some do. I think all should. I definitely think that Google should. Now, I've been told that they are thinking about or probably going to enable the option by default in order to disable this notch, but they have a kind of different implementation as things stand right now. So I want to use this video as an opportunity to possibly influence the future and maybe even ask Google to change their implementation of what they're currently doing with this notch. So Google, I know you're listening. I know you're watching. Listen to what I have to say here. I think I'm going to save you some criticism, some potential criticism on this implementation. So First up, yes, you can disable the notch right now, even though this device is not publicly available, but the way that you do it is via developer options. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So you go into your settings, down to your system. From there, you'll see about Pixel 3 XL, select that, and then rapidly click on the build number. That's simple stuff. That allows you to enter developer mode. This would be the same on a previous generation Pixel and so on. You are now a developer, okay, that's simple. Now what that does is within developer options which are now available to you, it gives you some notch configuration settings which are a bit interesting. So right here, within developer options, there is a display cutout option. This is not an option by default on the phone in the default software, but it does live currently in developer options. If I click on that, you can see you have the device default. That's the notch as you've seen it. Then you can hide it. Then you have a corner cutout, double cutout, and a tall cutout. So hide, which is the most interesting for most people, does this. Can you see now? Now, because this is an OLED display, it actually does a pretty good job of completely blacking out the top portion and giving you a bezel, a forehead and chin similar to the regular Pixel 3, if that's the look that you're going for. Now, of course, when you look at this thing, you're like, man, it looks sort of old fashioned. Like That is a huge chin and forehead. This is where things get a bit weird. And this is where I wanna speak to Google directly in hopes that maybe we can rectify this implementation. I said this on Twitter earlier, but the best use of the notch real estate, in my opinion, is when it's blacked out, but utilized as real estate for the various icons that live at the top of your display. So you have your Wi-Fi connection, battery life, your clock. Those need to get lifted up into this region here as they have been on other manufacturers' devices. I think these phones should ship with a notch blacked out and then utilize the real estate up there in the corners instead of creating the eyesore that we all happen to be used to at this point or familiar with. For some reason, Google just pushed down the icons and created this giant forehead without utilizing that space. I'm not sure why, maybe they just mapped over the software layout from the smaller pixel and just created a dimension that's identical. Maybe they wanted to create some degree of symmetry between the forehead and the chin. Not really certain, but I wanna ask right now, sincerely, before I switch over to this device completely, is there a way, Google, to move these icons up into the notch zone so we at least get some degree of usefulness out of that real estate as opposed to just completely blacking it out because it's hard for me to black it out as it stands right now it just pushes everything down look at how much more real estate i get all of a sudden all this stuff jumps up into the area that would be blacked out google you just got to listen up go in there and do this it's going to be a lot better off i promise other weird ones in there which might be interesting to you like a corner cutout i have no idea 
why that is in developer options or why you would want that. Maybe even more funny, a double cutout, which puts a notch down on the bottom. Maybe this is an indication of some potential designs that Google was thinking of. I'm not really sure. So let's see where this goes. Follow the thread. I'll have an update for you. Uh, notch City, time to evacuate.